Okay, here we are again, another video. Uh, it'll be brief as well. Um, I'm gonna show you how I did this differential throttle. Um, I studied and hacked for a while and then finally figured it out and went, man, this is so easy. Go into here, we'll kick over to my mixer page. Um, some of the videos show insert and this doesn't really have insert. This is the Turnigy versions, the stock firmware that they happen to have available today. Uh, when we got this bar here, that means insert if you hit the menu. Uh, so you would hit the menu, add a channel. I've, I've got 20% on rudder. Well first, the stock will not say throttle. It's just channel one, 100%. So you actually go in, you set your source. You got all kinds of places for your source. So you set your source to throttle, Set your weight to 100%. Then you come in on your next source, and you set your next source for rudder and 20. And then I did the exact same thing on channel six. Here it is again, and notice the source is throttle and rudder on channel six. It's the same stuff on channel one. The channel is where it's gonna output that signal to the receiver. Don't think that your channel is a stick or a switch. It's not. A stick or a switch is a stick or a switch. So let me engage my throttle. Even in the full down position, when I give left rudder, we can see that my right throttle slightly increases, I'd say about 20%. When I go to right rudder, my, my left throttle will increase about 20%. And that's to give me more throttle on the left to make the plane turn to the right. Um, I'm gonna experiment with these settings and see how it does on my particular plane. If it's not turning strong enough, I can, back it, I can increase that. If it's turning too strong, I can back it off a little bit. No problem.